Upon waking in the morning, the first thing I like to do is throw back the covers and put on a little bed jacket before I get dressed and ready for the day. Well, it's 7.30, so I better get up and get organized. I put on my nice warm slippers and go to open up the curtains in the bedroom to let some light in. I also like to open up the windows to allow some fresh, cool air to come into the bedroom. I always make sure to throw back the bed covers in the morning to allow the bed to air out and then I make it after breakfast. Next up, I go to the bathroom to freshen up for the day. I wash my face, spray it with witch hazel and then moisturize. Before I start making breakfast, I like to go and iron my clothes for the day so they're nice and neat. I then turn on the heater to warm up the house before breakfast, and then I go back to my bedroom to get changed for the day. My outfit for the day was nice and casual, as I was going grocery shopping, doing some chores around the house, and going for a leisurely swim at the pool. Now make sure to have a good look at yourself in the mirror to ensure that your ensemble looks just the way you want it to. Now it's finally time to start breakfast. I'm going to put on my apron to protect my clothes and get straight into it. Saturday's breakfast will consist of a pot of tea, mushroom gravy on toast, some baked beans and fried egg. Making mushroom gravy, I like to saute the mushrooms in a little bit of butter and olive oil, some Italian herbs, and salt and pepper. I then thicken the mushrooms with a bit of corn flour and water. forget to use some of the beautiful fresh parsley from our garden. And there you have it, breakfast is served. Once breakfast has been had, the ladies of the 1950s would open up their curtains to let their neighbours know that they could come over for a chat and a cup of tea. Before getting stuck into the dishes from breakfast, I sat down, had a little bit of quiet time and finished my cup of tea.
And since I live far away from my parents, I had to call my mum and have a catch up. I then got straight into cleaning the dishes from breakfast before I could move on and get myself ready for the day. And yes, it goes without saying, there is always a dance session involved when it comes to washing up. <laughs> brushed my teeth, made the bed, and then did the rest of my makeup. And then I took off my turban and brushed out my cows from the night before. To finish off my makeup, I powder my face to set it all so that it's nice and matte. Now it's time to put on my coat and go out grocery shopping. And we can't forget to put on a headscarf to protect those beautiful curls from the rain and windy weather. is the fruit and vegetable shop. Next up, I need to go to the butchers to pick up a dozen eggs and a Cornish pasty for James for dinner. With all the grocery shopping done, I can head home. Once I arrived back home, I unpacked all of the groceries and got started on making a sandwich for James for lunch. His sandwich consisted of mustard, mayo, lettuce, onion, beetroot, tomato, cheese and chicken. And I decided to have leftovers from the night before. We had a bit of a late lunch and it was a cold day, but we decided to sit outside and enjoy lunch together in the sun. After lunch, I got straight into some cleaning and got out the carpet sweeper and did the living room floors. I then cleaned up.
up the dishes before then heading out for an evening swim. I got out my bathing suit and my pink floral swim cap and we headed off to the pool. It's actually winter here in Australia, so it's absolutely freezing. So I was really, really cold before hopping in, but the water was lovely and warm. So I jumped in and did a few laps. And after a lovely Saturday evening at the pool, we headed back home, and I hopped in the shower to wash all the chlorine off before preparing dinner. Scented body powders were quite common in the 1950s, and were often used after bathing or showering. Now that I'm all nice and clean, off to make dinner. Tonight's menu consisted of the Cornish pasty that I picked up at the butchers, baked potatoes and steamed vegetables with gravy. While dinner was baking in the oven and cooking on the stove, I decided to sit down and have a cup of tea and a homemade bicky. And finally, dinner was ready. We had gravy on top of our steamed veggies, potato and pasta. After our delicious dinner, it was that time again, the dishes had to be done. After the kitchen was all lovely and clean, James and I sat down and watched a little bit of I Love Lucy. And now it was time for bed. Since I'd already had my shower after the pool, I just had to get into my pajamas, do my skincare, and then hop into bed. And if you haven't already heard me rave on about cold cream, it was a staple in every woman's vanity in the 1950s. It helped them remove their makeup, clean their skin, and moisturize it at the same time. There is something so relaxing about smoothing the cold cream all over your face and then washing it off with a hot flannel. And just like my skincare routine in the morning, I spray my face with witch hazel and then moisturize with Olay's Pink Moisturizer, which was first introduced in 1952. And lastly, I brush my teeth and then I'm off to bed. Mm-hmm. <laughs>